Hello mga ka-face math! Samahan po ninyo akong mag-solve ng word problems. Pero bago yan, huwag kalimutang mag-like, share, at subscribe sa channel ko. Click din ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa latest video ko. Maraming salamat! Paano nga ba mag-solve ng word problems? Meron tayong four steps na ginagamit sa pagsasolve. Una, understand. Pangalawa, plan. Number three, solve. And number four, check. Gamitin natin ang steps na yan sa mga sumusunod na word problems. Magsimula tayo sa example number one. Rose both a watermelon and 3 kilograms of bananas. The watermelon cost 36 pesos. She paid 189 pesos and 75 centavos for the watermelon and bananas. How much did she pay for a kilogram of bananas? Balikan natin yung steps. Number 1, understand. Nakapaloob dito yung tanong na what is asked. Paano natin malalaman? Ang clue, hanapin yung question na nasa problem. How much did she pay for a kilogram of bananas? Yun yung the price or amount of a kilogram of bananas. Yun yung dapat nating isolve. What is asked? Next, what are the given facts? Ano naman ang clue natin sa given facts? Ito yung mga number na makikita natin sa word problem. Katulad ng 3 kilograms of bananas, 36 pesos cost of watermelon, and 189 pesos and 75 centavos. Ayan, nakompleto na natin ang step number 1. Punta na tayo sa step number 2. Plan. Sa plan, kasama ang tanong na what is are the operations needed to solve the problem. Sa plan, nandito yung tanong na what is are the operations needed to solve the problem. Ano ba yung operations natin? Meron tayong addition, subtraction, multiplication, at division. Para sa problem na to, gagamit tayo ng subtraction and division. Sunod, sulat natin ang number sentence. Yan, the quantity of 189 pesos and 75 centavos minus 36 pesos Divided by 3 is N. Step number 3. Solve. 189 pesos and 75 centavos minus 36 pesos. Ang sagot ay 153 pesos and 75 centavos. Nabawas na natin ang presyo ng watermelon. Kaya pwede na natin itong i-divide sa 3 para sa tatlong kilo. 153 pesos and 75 centavos divided by 3 is 51 pesos and 25 centavos. Step number 4. Check or look back. Read the problem again and check if the answer makes sense. Basahin daw po ulit natin. At yan, ang sagot, she paid 51 pesos and 25 centavos for a kilogram of bananas. Nasagot na natin yung problem, yung tinatanong. Punta na tayo sa example number 2. This is weight is 24.82 kilograms. Sophia is 4 times heavier than DC. What is the total weight of DC and Sophia? 
Balikan ulit natin ng steps. Number one step, I understand what is ask. The total weight of DC and Sophia. What are the given facts? 24.82 kilograms and four times heavier. Step number two, plan. What are the operations needed to solve the problem? Addition and multiplication. Step number three, solve. Yan, dito gumamit ako ng model. JC, yun yung weight niya. Tapos yung four times heavier, apat na JC. At ito ang weight ni Sophia. Bale, meron tayong limang DC. 24.82 kilograms times 5 ay 124.10 kilograms. Step number 4, check or look back. Twenty four point eight two kilograms ang weight ni JC plus twenty four point eight two kilogram times four na sa loob ng parentheses ang weight ni Sophia. Ang sagot one hundred twenty four point one zero kilograms. At punta na tayo sa example number 3. Transportation expenses of 210 pesos for 12 grade 6 pupils and 250 pesos and 50 centavos for 15 grade 5 pupils were shared equally by all concerned. How much more did each grade 6 pupil share than each grade 5 pupil? Ano ulit yung ating hahanapin? Yung question. Yung what is us? At ano yung pangalawang importante? The given facts. Yan. At anong operation ang pwede natin gamitin? Division and subtraction. Number sentence. 210 pesos divided by 12 minus 250 pesos and 50 centavos divided by 15 is N. Ang sagot, 17 pesos and 50 centavos minus 16 pesos and 70 centavos is N. Answer, 80 centavos. At yan, mga ka-face mat, sana ay matulungan ulit kayo ng video na ito sa pagsasagot nyo ng inyong module. Maraming salamat sa pananood!